Nag-end up ka sa, frustrated ka pa rin. Diba? Wala pa rin nangyayari. Nalilito ka pa rin. Anong na naman ang gagawin mo? Siguro sa about time na ano, uh, bakit di mo subukang pagkatiwalaan yung plano ni Lord sa buhay mo? If you zoom out and you explore what God has in store for you, He's got so much more than what you think you have. Kung titignan ako ng mga tao ay disabled. No, walang kakayanan o oh, limitado ang kakayanan. Pero alam ko sa puso ng Diyos, kailanman, hindi ako tinitingnan ng Panginoon na disabled. These scars are beautiful because they remind me of God's faithfulness. These scars are beautiful because they remind me that God is not done with me yet. Gusto ko nalang sumuko sa Panginoon kasi naniniwala ako na may magandang plano siya sa buhay ko. If you know your purpose in life, dun po magkakaroon ng direksyon ang iyong buhay. Siguro ito yung experience na hinahanap-hanap po sa buhay mo. At uh, we've tried searching the whole world. And siguro hindi natin nakita, hindi natin na, na grasp or na experience. Pero pwede mong itry dito sa home na meron ng Panginoon para sa ngayon. Welcome home, friends and family! Welcome home, friends and family! Welcome home, friends and family! Merry, Merry Christmas, friends and family! Welcome home, 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 friends and family! Hello, friends and family! Welcome home, friends and family! Welcome home! Hello friends and family, welcome to The Hub! The home you belong! 55 viewers already connected to C2S after they watched The Hub. Ibig po sabihin, hindi pa po nila naiintindihan siguro yung C2S or hindi nila hindi sila familiar dito po sa dahab pero nung napanood po nila they had this urge and this desire or thirsty to become part of the C2S alam niyo kapatid yung mga ganito po ano po ay ibig sabihin may mga nababagong buhay dahil lamang po hindi tayo tumitigil sa pagbo-broadcast to him Even a season of pause is a season of purpose. Even in solitude, we magnified His sovereignty. But this 2023, gather as one man. It's time to dream again, to dive into the unknown with faith, to explore the depths of His power, to cross the unbelief, and swiftly move forward to reach the unseen and witness the fullness of His glory. We are going further. Hello, 
COG fam and welcome to another special Sunday that will refresh your souls. Wow, refresh! Pero bago ko pa spoil ang message for today, gusto ko munang batiin ang ating online viewers. If you're watching on your phones, tablet, laptop, PC, or TV, or whatever, whether at home, nasa office, or kung nasan ka ngayon, I pray that you feel God's presence through this worship service. But of course, I would like to specifically mention our first-time viewers. Hello and welcome po sa inyo. Kung ikaw ay first-time viewer, can you please tell us in the comments, type first time or drop your favorite emoji para ma-feel din namin ang inyong presence even though we're not together. And to everyone, hit the heart react button now and click share to spread the love of God sa lahat ng inyong friends and family at sama-sama nating harapin as one church, as one man, ang new week ahead. Speaking of new, I heard na may bagong season ng The Hub na kailangan mong panoorin this Wednesday. This season is called Hard to Find and this is about stories of people who have chosen to live unique lives through serving God. Uh, I'm not talking about people lang na who have devoted their lives to the church. Tungkol din ito sa mga tao na yung buhay nila nagkaroon talaga ng malaking impact sa buhay ng iba and they just really led a life of pointing others to Jesus. So, ang tanong ngayon, okay, medyo serious muna tayo, ikaw ba yan? Ikaw ba ngayon ay nasa crossroads ng success and significance? Nalilito ka ba ngayon? Kung ano ang iyong purpose sa buhay? Well, alam mo, for me, uh, personally, if you're struggling to find direction, it's a signal na napapalayo ka na sa iyong compass. And that compass is God. So, para mas malaman pa natin how to navigate our lives, and including myself, yes, I am including myself, let's make sure na panoorin natin at subaybayan natin ang buong season ng Hard to Find. Starting this Wednesday, only at the hub, the home you belong. Oh, ganun pala yung feeling na sabihin yun. Anyway, besides the hub, we're also inviting you to a special revival night. Special naman talaga, ang imit si God every Tuesday sa church. But what makes this revival night different is we're having a dance special. And you have to see this, ha? Plus, there's a testimony na you really need to hear. Ayoko siyang spoil, but I assure you that this is the very thing na kailangan mong marinig ngayon. Lalo na kung ikaw ay may mabigat na pinagdadaanan and you are crying for a miracle. And so, speaking of crying for a miracle, let's start our um, worship service. Pero before that, allow me to lead you in this prayer. So let us close our eyes and feel the presence of God no matter where we are. And let us, let us remind ourselves that praying is not just uttering words, but having communion with God. And God, we just call unto you um, this Sunday and we want to feel your presence no matter where we are. We are thankful for all the blessings that you have given us. And we pray that this Sunday, haya mo na, kami naman ang mag-bless sa yung pangalan by worshiping you, by giving you our best praises and our thanksgiving, Panginoon. Just refresh our hearts and our minds as we hear your word. And we know that we will face another week, but we know that we will face it with you. This is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And so I hope you are now ready with your friends and family. Uh, to praise and worship our God. This is Zeli, and I'll see you after the service.
strength that no one else can give. I thank you, Lord, for loving me. Every day is a victory. You gave me rest to all my worries. I have your peace now. I am free. You didn't give up. You didn't give up. You didn't give up.
share God's word for you in Isaiah 43 it says here this is what God says the God who builds a road right through the ocean who carves a path through pounding waves the God who summons horses and chariots and armies forget about what's happened and don't, don't keep going over old history be alert and be present. I'm about to do something brand new in your life. Amen. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers, and the badlands. And God is making a way for you. God is making a way for you. So believe in His promises for whatever it is that you are going through right now. you today, God. 
Now, you won't fail. Yes, you'll never fail. 
in honor in Jesus name we pray everybody shout aloud amen God bless you the most intimate worship experience is to cry for a miracle in the presence of God we'll do just that this Tuesday at Revival Night where we'll also witness a dance special from the DM fam Plus, we'll hear a wondrous word through Sister Gigi Velasco. New extraordinary and unique stories are waiting for you in the new season of The Hub, Hard to Find. Catch the first episode live at 7 p.m. this Wednesday. We're going to the city streets again to share the love of God outside. You can join us in Thanksgiving this June 4 by contacting Brother Rodel Donato at this number. God makes ways for us to break through. Before, I had no confidence to face people because I was only a high school grad. But with LAMP, I was mentored to tap into my deepest passion and reach my full potential. LAMP has equipped me with skills to lead and to connect with people, not just in my ministry but even in my personal life. And now, I believe it's your time to break through. So I encourage you to enroll to LAMP and start your leadership journey at Life Institute. You may visit our Connect booth to get more information about our church activities or to take your next step. Now, please don't forget to switch your phones to silent mode and to turn off your flash. And as you hear God's word, may it change your hearts and empower you for the week you're about to face. This is Jem saying God bless and enjoy the service! Amen. Can we just give God our very best clap offering? It's good to be in the house of, of the Lord because God's presence is here in this place. Good day, church. At kamusta po ang bawat isa? Pakitapik-tapik nga ang inyong katabi. And please say hi at kamusta po. And siguro na-miss po natin ang bawat isa. 
It's good to see everyone once again in our church and hello to our church family. And mukhang patapos na po yung summer kasi nag-uulan for the past days. And uh, last weeks po kasi sobrang init. At sino po dito ang nakapag-bakasyon na? May mga nakapag-bakasyon na po ba? Nakapunta sa beach, nakapag-swimming, uh, nakapag-outing. So praise the Lord. At buti pa kayo, nakaalis-alis at naka-enjoy ng summer vibes po natin. And speaking of hot weather, Alam niyo po, meron po akong isang animal na naiisip, it comes to mind kapag sinabi pong hot weather at wala pong iba ko hindi po yung camel. Sino po dito naka-personally nakakita na po ng camel? May nakakita na ng camel? Wow, ang dami na. So ako po, hindi pa po ako personally nakakakita po ng camel. So sa mga pictures lang and videos. And kapag sinabi po kasing camel, yan po yung kanyang natural habitat. Siya po ay nasa desert, siya po ay nasa isang hot weather. At sanay na sanay po siya dyan. Pero I believe siya rin po ay naiinitan, kaya po nung binabasa ko po ano po yung characteristics ng isang camel, I found out na kapag gusto niya po mag-cool off or gusto niya po mag-relax or shrug off yung init ng panahon or init ng kanyang katawan, he will, it will do something like this. Siya po ay magka-camel roll. So ikot-ikot po siya sa sand or sa grass para ma-shred off, para po ma-shrug off yung init po sa kanyang katawan. And siguro po, yan din po yung gusto po natin sa panahon po ngayon na napaka-init. We have a hot weather right now. Or sa buhay po natin, may mga pinagdadaanan po tayo. And siguro gusto rin po natin maging katulad ng isang camel na kaya pong mag-relax, kaya pong mag-cool off. Or siguro gusto po natin mag-refresh sa ating buhay po ngayon. Pakisabi nga po, refresh. So siguro po yan po ang ating hinahanap-hanap. Gusto po natin magkaroon ng refresh sa ating buhay. And you know what? Pag tinignan po pala natin yung word na roll in Hebrew, ang ibig sabihin po niya is galal. At ang ibig sabihin po ng gamal, it comes from three letters ng Hebrew language. At ang first letter niya po is gimel. The second and third is lamed. lamed. So ang ibig sabihin po pala ng gimel is a camel. So kapag tinignan po natin yung word po na roll, siguro po talaga pong galing po yan sa karakteristik po ng camel dahil dyan po yan kinuha. Isang letter po is about being a camel. And paano po ba makakarelax po isang camel? Ang ibig sabihin po ng dalawang lamid po yan is a shepherd staff. Dalawa pong shepherd staff. At kung tayo po ay pala naghahanap ng tunay na relaxation, Kapag tayo po ay nagahanap ng, uh, tayo po ay ma-refresh sa ating buhay, paano ba natin, ma, paano ba tayo makakarelate sa isang camel? Kailangan pala natin ng shepherd sa ating buhay. Kailangan may mag-shepherd po sa ating buhay para ma-experience natin yung tunay na refreshment for our lives. So today, if you have your Bibles with you, I invite you to open it in the book of Psalm, chapter 23, verse 1 to 3. At ang sabi po dito, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me to the path of righteousness for His name's sake. And today, before we proceed with God's word, as all bowed our heads, and let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. We invite your presence, our God, to be in this place. We invite you, O God, to be in this sanctuary. We want your presence, Lord God, to overflow here, Panginoon. Lord God, your people came here for you. Lord God, they came here for times of refreshing, Lord God, in your presence, Panginoon. And we believe, Lord God, sa pagpunta namin sa yung presensya, Lord God, hindi kami magre-regret, Panginoon. Hindi kami, Lord God, magsisisi. Dahil, Lord God, ngayong oras na to, ngayong araw na to, mararamdaman ka talaga namin at may experience namin ang presensya mo sa aming buhay. So today, Lord God, we humbly ask for your anointing your wisdom, and your favor. And right this very moment, we already claim the victory and we give you back all the glory and all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout. Amen, amen and amen. Sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. And sa ating buhay, I believe ayaw po natin na tayo po ay mag-shut down. Tama po ba yun? Diba kung ano mo pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa na nandito po ngayon, siguro po ikaw ay stressful sa ating buhay ngayon, siguro po meron kang trouble or ikaw ay persecuted, whatever that may be, kung ano mo pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, I believe ayaw po natin na tayo po ay magbe-breakdown or tayo ay mag-shut off or tayo po ay mag-shut down. Yan po yung pinaka-ayaw po natin mangyayari sa ating buhay. And I think ngayon pong panahon pong na to, ayaw din po na, hindi po natin kailangan na mag-restart po tayo. 
Bakit? Kasi kakagaling lang po natin sa restart, galing po tayo sa pandemic, galing po tayo sa lockdown. So parang na-restart yung ating buong mundo, but parang na-restart po yung ating mga buong buhay. And today we're just in the fifth month of 2022. And I don't think we need a restart sa ating buhay kasi I think everything is going well for our lives and for our church. Kaya po siguro ang kailangan lang po natin ngayon is a refresh. Kailangan lang natin ng refresh sa ating buhay. Katulad kapag may sinosearch po tayo sa computer o may sinosearch po tayo sa internet, kapag may web page na ayaw po mag-load, anong i-click natin? I-click natin yung refresh para mag-load po ng maayos yung web page po niyan. O siguro kapag tayo po ay nanonood po ng YouTube or may live stream tayong pinapanood, kapag nag-lag, kapag nag-hang, sana ang, ang gagawin lang po natin ay pipindutin yung refresh button para mag-load po siya ulit. And sana po ganun lang din po kadali mag-refresh sa ating buhay. Sana may refresh button lang sa ating buhay at maglo-load na ulit yung ating mga ginagawa. Bakit po? Kasi minsan po, ba't kailangan natin ng refresh? Kasi minsan we are preoccupied with so much stress. Minsan po tayo po ay sobrang busy na. Siguro po tayo po ay may mga disappointment na in the fifth month of this year. Meron tayong mga frustration, meron tayong mga kanya-kanya pinagdadaanan. And gusto natin makatuloy sa buhay natin this year. Amen po ba yun? Magusto natin mag-proceed to the next month, to the rest of the months of this year, and maybe we just need to have a refresh at magiging okay din ang lahat. So if you want a refresh in our lives, sabi po sa verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. At alam niyo po, ang nagsulat po ng verse po na to ay walang iba kung hindi po si King David. And sabi po sa aking research, sabi po ng mga scholars, uh, ang Psalm 23 ay sa pagsulat po ni David, sinulat niya po to in the time of the latter years of his life. On the latter years, sa pa, padulo na po ng kanyang reign as king. Kaya po pag titignan po natin yung Psalm 23, makikita po natin na David wrote it with much maturity. Sinulat niya po yan with much wisdom. Sinulat niya po yan with much experience. At sa pagsusulat po na yan, ano pong ginawa po ni David? Binalikan niya po yung kanyang start sa buhay. Binalikan niya po yung kanyang root sa buhay. At nag-throwback po siya at naalala niya yung kanyang simula sa buhay na ano? Siya po ay nagsimula bilang shepherd boy. Bago pa po siya maging hari, bago pa po siya i-bless ng Panginoon tremendously, ang simula po ni David ay taga-alaga lang po ng sheep. Kaya pag sinasabi niya po dito sa verse po na yan, The Lord is my shepherd. Ibig sabihin po, naiintindihan niya yung pagiging shepherd kasi siya mismo ay isang shepherd. Naiintindihan din po ni David that how good and great of a shepherd God is. Bakit? Kasi naiintindihan niya yung experience po na yun. At ano pong masasabi po ni David sa kanyang pagiging shepherd, sa pagiging shepherd ng Panginoon para sa kanyang buhay? Nung tumakbo ang bu- buong buhay po ni David, ito pong masasabi niya, God is enough. Yan po ang gusto rin sabihin ng Panginoon para sa atin yun, God is enough. Amen po ba dun? Amen. Sige po, palakpa nga po natin si Lord. God is enough for our lives today and whatever you're going through today, si Lord lang sapat na sa para sa buhay mo ngayon. Amen po ba yun? Amen. And alam po, this verse is very special to me, Psalm 23. Kasi nung ako po ay nasa aking mga 20s, uh, doon ko po na-experience na bigyan, mabigyan ng open door for a leadership opportunity in this church. So, ang ino-open po sa akin is to be the musician's ministry head at that time. And dahil po yun po yung aking first open door of leadership, first open door of my calling, uh, leadership journey, talaga pong gusto ko pong i-confirm ng matindi sa ating Panginoon. Kasi ayoko po magkamali, alam ko po mabigat po yung leadership, alam ko po mabigat po yung gagawin uh, bilang isang shepherd for a ministry. Kaya sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, i-confirm mo naman ng matindi yung calling ko na ito. So, humingi po kay Lord, Lord, Pwede ba bigyan mo ako ng audible voice para makonfirm ko? Pag kinamuusap mo ako personally, siguro mag talaga ako dito sa leadership opportunity na to. However, hindi po ako binigyan ni Lord ng audible voice. Siguro hindi, sa tingin niya, hindi ka pa po kailangan yon. So humingi ako ng second na confirmation dahil hindi ako sinagot ni Lord sa audible voice. Sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, bigyan mo na na ako ng signs and wonders. Sino po dito mga humihingi ng signs para sa kanyang buhay? So yan po, may mga humihingi ng signs. Lord, bigyan mo na ako ng sign na ito yung gusto mo mangyari. Para sa aking buhay. So sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, kung papakidlatin mo ng tatlong beses ngayon mismo, siguro magsasay yes na ako sa'yo. Lord, I will say yes to the leadership, to the calling that you have for me. However, to cut the long story short, hindi po yan yung mga confirmation na binigay sa akin ni Lord. Walang kumidlat, wala akong narinig na boses. At ano lang po yung binigay po sa akin ni Lord, that very verse, verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, 
and I shall not be in one. At nung ko po natutunan, ha, ganito pala ako kausapin ni Lord. Straight from His Word, straight from the Word of God, pag sinabi ni Lord na go at uh, mag-lead ng ministry na yon, doon ko po na confirm yung aking calling, doon ko po na confirm yung leadership open door na, yes God, I will say yes to you. At doon ko po na-realize, wow, God is enough. Amen po ba doon? The Word of God is enough para po tayo po ay mag-proceed sa ating mga buhay. And siguro po tayo rin po ay may mga inaantay na confirmation para mula sa ating Panginoon. And I, I encourage this church today, kailangan pala alam natin kung paano tayo kinakausap ng Panginoon. Amen po ba doon? Kasi pwede kang kausapin ni Lord through dreams, pwede kang kausapin ni Lord through visions, or uh, through audible voice, or kung ano man yan, or straight from the Word of God. Kailangan alam po natin kung paano po tayo kinakausap ni Lord para po tayo po ay makaka-decide kung anong landas ang tatahakin natin sa buhay. Amen po ba doon? Amen. And alam po si David, habang dumadaan po siya sa kanyang buhay, alam mo, bigyan natin ng throwback. Alam niyo po, si David po ay meron din siyang GSW sa kanyang buhay. So, sino po dito nanonood po ng NBA? May nanonood po ng NBA at playoffs na po ngayon. At 2-0 na po ang Golden State Warriors. At alam niyo po, si David, meron din siyang GSW. At ano po yung GSW po ni David? Siya po ay may kinaharap po na gulayat sa kanyang buhay. So, minsan po meron pong higante na tinray po na pigilan siya sa kanyang journey, sa kanyang calling. So hindi lang po yon sa buhay po ni David, nagkaroon po siya ng soul. Si King Saul po ang kanyang leader, si King Saul po ang kanyang hari, si King Saul po ang kanyang mentor. However, ano pong ginawa po ni King Saul? Tinray po siyang patayin. So many times, tinray po patayin po si David. And right this very moment, for the past months po na pinag-uusapan po natin, we were in Psalm 5. At ano po yung meron po si David? Meron po siyang wars. At maraming maraming wars. At isa pong memorable war po para kay David is yung war niya with his once with his son na si Absalom at talaga pong uh, hirap na hirap po si David dahil sarili niyang sarili niya pong anak ang kumakalaban po sa kanya so yun po ang GSW po ni David meron po siyang uh, Goliath meron siyang King Saul meron siyang wars many wars katulad po nung kay Absalom at ano pong masasabi po ni David habang sinusulat niya po yung Psalm 23 sa lahat ng pinagdaanan ni David kahit ano pa man yan si God po ay enough na para sa kanyang buhay. Amen po ba doon? Sige po palakpangan natin si Lord. Kaya po ngayon kung meron ka mang gulayat sa buhay mo, meron ka mang higante sa buhay mo ngayon, meron ka mang king soul na nagpapahirap sa iyo, meron ka bang mga gera na pinagdadaanan ngayon, pinapaalahanan tayo ni Lord, Mat- makukuha mo ang katagumpayan bakit si Lord lang sapat na para sa buhay mo ngayon. Amen. Sige po palakpakan po natin si Lord. Kaya po sabi po sa Psalm chapter 5 verse 4 it says here, for you are not a god who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell with you. Ano po ibig sabihin niya? Kung, kung may evilness, kung may wickedness man in the presence of God, it won't last long. Hindi siya makakadwell sa presensya ng Panginoon. Bakit po galit po si Lord sa wickedness and evilness? Kaya kung may gulayat, may soul, may wars ka man yan, hindi magtatagal po yan dahil kasama natin ng Panginoon at katagumpayan ang may experience natin sa ating buhay. Amen po ba doon? Eh, sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. A victory awaits in our lives right now. Kaya ano na lang po pwede natin gawin as Christians, as Christians, doon na lang tayo kung paano tayo mas mapapalapit kay Lord. Piliin po natin yung landas where we can be closer and closer to the presence of God. Kaya ngayon po, gusto ko po i-recap or i-recall yung preach po ni Pastor Anthony last Sunday na nasang level ka na ba dito sa iyong pagsuserve kay Lord? Ikaw ba ay nasa attendee level? Ikaw ba ay nasa contributing worker level? Ikaw ba yung committed na worker na dito po sa church? Or ikaw ba yung uh, pastor or missionary or leader ka na? Nasaan ka ba sa chart na to? Nasaan ka ba sa growth track na ito? And wherever you may be, ito po yung aking challenge for this church, may you take the next step of your life. May you take the next step of God's call for your life. May you take, take the higher calling of God para sa iyong buhay. Dahil po sa pag-step up po natin, sa pagpunta natin sa ating next step, mas napapalapit tayo sa presensya ng Panginoon. Mas napapalapit po tayo sa design ng Panginoon para sa ating buhay. And I pray this may be the day na tayo po ay oo na po kay Lord. Siguro hanggang ngayon tayo po ay humihingi ng matindi pang confirmation. Pero baka hindi mo alam, sumagot na si Lord sa buhay mo. 
Baka through this word, Psalm 23, baka sumasagot na sa Lord sa buhay mo. And I pray you may make that yes to the Lord today. And kung ito na po yung araw na tayo po ay mag say yes kay Lord, alam niyo po dyan po sa lobby, meron po tayong connect booth na tinatawag. And kung ready ka na to say yes to God, yung ating connection team, andyan po sila ngayon. Yung ating relationship department, yung ating mga workers ng church, and andyan po ngayon para po i-assist ka para po i-lead tayo, para po uh, i-guide tayo in the next steps of our calling today. And by the way, pwede ba pataas ng kamay ng mga workers ng church na nandito po sa sanctuary ngayon? Sige, pataas nga po para makita ng mga congregation po natin. And sa mga nakataas po na kamay, sana po kung meron po tayong katabi na hindi pa nakataas na kamay, baka pwede mo naman tapikin po yan at baka pwede mo ma-invite to join your ministry. Or siguro po sa mga hindi pa po nagtataas ng kamay at meron kang katabi po ngayon na nagtaas po ng kamay, baka pwedeng ikaw na mag-initiate, itap mo naman siya. Paano ba sumali sa ministry mo? Paano ba mag-join sa yung uh, ginagawa dito sa church? And I pray that this day may be the day na tayo po ay tutugon kay Lord at magsisay yes, yes and amen sa plano ng Panginoon para sa yung buhay at para sa buhay ng bawat isa na nandito po ngayon. Bakit po? Bakit po God is enough? Kasi po, in the next verse it says, because the shepherd, our God, leads us to greener pastures. He makes us lie down to green pastures. At alam niyo po, tayo po ay may kanya-kanyang definition po ng green pasture. Bakit po tayo po ay may kanya-kanyang perspective? Ano ba ang green pasture? At sa akin po, nung panahon ko po, ito po yung green pasture. It is the American dream. Parang yung mga kaibigan ko, mga klase ko, uh, ito po yung kanilang pangarap to makapunta po sa US, makapagtrabaho po doon, makapag-migrate doon, at makahanap ng asawa doon, at doon mo po bumuo ng pamilya. That was the American dream. Yun po yung nakikita po nila na green pasture or greener pasture. And hindi ko po alam kung hanggang ngayon, yan pa rin po ang green pasture. Bakit po for the past months, for the past years, ito po ang nangyayari po sa US po ngayon. Uh, punong-puno po ng mga riot for the past months. Ganyan na po ang nangyayari po doon. At mukhang parang Pilipinas na rin po. Hindi po nalalayo sa nangyayari po dito sa Pilipinas. And also last month, pininish ko po ito, as young as five years old, ino-orient na po sila na they can choose their own gender. Ino-orient na po sila about LGBT at pwedeng wala ka munang piliin gender as young as five years old. At grabe po, tinatamaan po talaga yung mga anak, mga children po ng next generation sa US. And just this very week, meron pong mass shooting po sa US. So yung shooting po na yan, hindi po yun yung gumagawa ng sine or hindi po yan yung gumagawa ng teleserye. Yung mass shooting po sa US, talaga pong barilan po yan. At meron pong sampung black Americans po na namatay dahil po sa nangyari po na yan. So this is what's happening in the US right now. Siguro yung dati nating greener pasture na iniisip ba? Parang bumaliktad right this very year, right this very month, just right this very week. And what I would like to tell you today, things can change in an instant. Things can turn around in just a snap of a finger. Things can turn around in an instant. And by the way, sino po dito mga nakabili po ng mga bagong kotse? May mga bago po bang ano, magpapadedicate ng kotse? Po, may mga ibang nagtaas ng kamay. And siguro po ang binili po nating kotse, yung tumatakbo po ng diesel, However, siguro po iniisip po natin sa pagbili po natin ng diesel na kotse, binili po natin yon para po tayo ay makatipid. Kaya ano po nangyari po ngayon? Mas mahal na po yung diesel kaysa sa unleaded. So para nagkamali po tayo ng bili. So that's, what, that's my point. Things can turn around in an instant. Kaya minsan po, tinatry po natin ipilit po yung ating perspective. Minsan iniisip po natin, pinipilit po natin ipilit kay Lord yung mga gusto po natin mangyari. Uh, pinipilit natin yung ating sariling definition of a greener pasture. Kaya lang minsan hindi natin nakikita yung future at hindi po natin alam na hindi pala makakabuti po, po yun sa, para sa ating buhay. And if God allows your wants to happen, kung ahayaan ni Lord na yung gusto po natin yung mangyari, it can reveal our pride. It can show our pride later on. Ano pong ibig sabihin ko po dyan? Alam niyo po yung Israel... Pinipilit po nila yung gusto po nila, gusto po nila magkaroon ng hari. Kaya po si Lord po pinagbigyan po yung kanilang gusto, binigyan po sila ng King Saul. However, ano po nangyari po kay King Saul, lumabas po yung kanyang pride. Lumabas po yung kanyang yabang para sa kanyang puso at nagkandaloko-loko po yung kanyang leadership. Nagkandaloko-loko po yung kanyang uh, bansang Israel at nasira po yung mga Israelites. Kaya po pinaltan po siya ni King David. 
So minsan po hindi po natin namamalayan, minsan yung gusto pala natin, eh kaya pala may delay, kaya pala hindi magtuloy-tuloy, kasi may mas magandang greener pasture ang Panginoon para sa buhay mo ngayon. Amen po ba nun? Sige po palakpang po natin si Lord. At sino po nagsasabi dito, gusto niya yung greener pasture ng Panginoon para sa kanyang buhay? Amen. Siyempre gusto natin yung mas magandang greener pasture ng Panginoon para sa atin. At paano ba natin makakamit yan? Ito po yung sa atin ni Lord. You just have to follow my lead. Today you just got to follow my lead. Kasi hindi po natin alam ano mangyayari po bukas. Mamaya lang, hindi na po natin alam kung ano po mangyayari. Next month, hindi po natin alam ano mangyayari. At kapag hindi po natin alam yung mangyayari, kapag wala po tayong control sa future, yan po yung nagbibigay ng so much stress para sa ating puso. Yan po yung nagbibigay ng anxiety sa ating mga utak. Yan po yung nagkukos ng ating depression at hindi natin alam anong past ang tatahakin natin sa ating buhay, lalo na uh, paiba-iba ang nangyayari po sa ating mundo. Kaya sinasabi ni Lord, hindi mo na kailangan alalahanin yan. Hindi mo na kailangan i-worry about tomorrow. All you gotta do today is to follow God's leading for your lives right now. Amen po ba dun? Amen. Kaya po sabi po, saan ba tayo dadalhin ng leading ng Panginoon? Dito tayo dadalhin ng leading ng Panginoon because He leads me beside the still waters. God, the great God, the great shepherd. Saan niya po tayo dadalhin? In the still waters. Kaya po kung babalikan po natin yung camel, a camel that went on a journey on the desert, in the wilderness, napakainit na panahon, kapag siya po ay nakahanap po ng still water, kapag siya po ay nakahanap ng pool of water, ito po ay pool of blessing for a camel. At yan po yung kanyang kaligayahan kasi siya po ay ma-fresh up, siya ay makakarelax, siya po ay makakahinga at makaka-cool off. And I, I believe tayo rin po ay parang camel, pwede natin ihalin tulad yung sarili po natin sa camel, na siguro ang dami na natin pinagdaanan for the past years, ang dami natin pinagdaanan for the past months, or just for the past days tayo ay duman sa mga hot weather ng ating buhay, or troubles, or trials, or temptation, or kung ano mang pinagdadaanan po natin sa ating buhay. At kapag tayo ay nakahanap ng pool of living water, kapag tayo po ay nakahanap ng pool of blessing, Diyan po tayo na re-refresh. At alam niyo po, kapag tinignan po natin yung word na pool in Hebrew, ang ibig sabihin po pala niyan is braka. Pakisabi nga po yun, braka. And to my surprise, nakita ko po na yung braka po is very similar to barak. At ano po ibig sabihin po ng barak? It is the blessing. Yan po yung pinag-uusapan natin for the past months. It is God's blessing for you and for me. And talaga pong similar na similar po yung letters po niyan. It's the same letters of the Hebrew of uh, Barak of Blessing. At ano po ibig sabihin niyan? It's Bet, Resh, Kaf. At may dinagdag lang pong bagong letter, yung letter po na Hey, dito po sa Braka. Pakisabi nga po yan, Hey! Hey! At ang ibig sabihin po ng Hey is what comes from. Hey, what comes from this pool of blessing? Hey, what comes from the open hand of God. Hey, what comes from when we prioritize God's leading para sa ating buhay? Kapag inuna ba talaga natin si Lord sa ating buhay, may mangyayari? May lalabas ba talagang blessing? Hey, what comes from when we consistently and continuously dwell in the presence of God? Ano bang pwede mangyari para sa ating buhay? What comes from God's blessing? Ito po is what, is what comes from God's blessing a pool of refreshment comes from God's blessing for our lives today. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, palakpang po natin si Lord. And this is, this is the water of God's blessing. This is the pool of God's refreshment for you and for me. And we can dive into God's blessing. We can dive into God's miracles for your lives. You can dive into God's favor. You can dive into God's anointing. You can dive into God's revival. You can dive into your healing right this very moment because the pool of refreshment, God's pool of refreshment is waiting for your life today. At dito pala tayo ni lead ng Panginoon all along. And totoo po ba yan? Talaga bang may pool of refreshment? Yes. Bakit sabi po sa kanyang salita? Because He restores my soul. Mas maganda po sinulat sa NIV version. He refreshes my soul. Talaga palang pwede ma-restore yung ating buhay. 
Talaga pa lang pwedeng ma-restore, ma-refresh yung ating mga souls. At gusto ko po i-highlight po yung word po na soul. Kasi minsan hindi po natin namamalayan po yung word po na yan. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng soul in simple terms? It is our whole being. It is your whole being. Ibig sabihin, lahat na pumapasok sa ating tenga, lahat ng ating nakikita, lahat ng ating naaamoy o natitikman o nararamdaman, it all comes within us. It all comes into our souls. At yung soul po natin na nagpa-process po dyan, at kung paano man pre ng ating soul, yun po yung ating nagiging attitude, yun po yung ating nagiging output na actions, yun po yung ating nagiging output na mga sinasabi. Kaya po sa pagpasok po ng mga bagay po sa ating buhay, kasama na po dyan yung good and the bad. Kasama na po dyan yung mga victories and losses. Kasama na po dyan yung mga triumphs and struggles po natin and traumas. And kasama na rin po dyan yung mga negative na bagay na pumapasok sa ating buhay, the disappointment, the persecution, the testings, the tribulation, mga negative na pumapasok sa ating buhay, sama-sama na po dyan. At kapag minsan puro negative po ang pumapasok sa ating soul, hindi natin namamalayan, nade-destroy pala yun. Nasisira po pala yun. Nagiging negative din po pala yung ating soul. Lalo na kapag makakarelate tayo kay David, sabi po ni David in Psalm chapter 5 verse 6, I'll be reading from the ERV this time. It says here, You destroy those who tell lies. Lord, you hate all those who make secret plans to hurt others. May naka-experience na po ba niyan? May gumawa ba ng kasinungalingan para siraan ka ngayon? May naka-experience po ba niyan? Meron po bang gumawa ng evil plan against you? Secret evil plan? So praise the Lord at wala po nagtataas ang kamay. Ako po personally, naka-experience po ako ng ganyan in my life. And kung hindi po tayo makarelate, si David po mismo ay naka-experience po niyan. His very own son, gumawa po ng kasinungalingan para siraan yung kanyang tatay. His very own son, Absalom, ay gumawa po ng evil secret plan para po pabagsakin po si David at matanggal po siya sa kingdom niya. Si David po mismo naka-experience po nun. At ngayon po na nakatapos na po siya dun sa panahon ng uh, kanyang gera kay Absalom, Pag napagdaanan niya na po ang lahat, ngayon po na sinusulat niya na po yung Psalm 23, ano pong masasabi niya? Oh, God had restored my soul. God had refreshed my soul. Kapag kaya po pagtitignan na po si David po ngayon, wala na pong bahid ng pain, wala na pong bahid ng disappointment, wala nang ebidensya ng persecution. Bakit? Nirefresh na ng Panginoon ang kanyang soul. At punong-puno na po ng love, punong-puno na po ng joy, punong-puno ng hope. At kung si Lord po ay na-refresh yung soul ni David, God can refresh your soul right here, right now. Your life today can be restored. Your soul today can be refreshed. That's why today, you gotta be born again. Kailangan po tayo maging born again kasi pag hindi natin tinanggap si Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we cannot experience this fresh start. Napakaganda ng fresh start ng Panginoon para sa ating buhay. And you know what? Water is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Kaya po, alam niyo po, two weeks ago, nagkaroon po tayo ng water baptism. At kaya po tayo nilulubog po sa tubig para yung ating old soul ay maiwan na po dun. At sinasabi po sa Panginoon, the old has gone and the new soul has come. And we are a new creation. Pag-ahon po natin dyan, kasama na po natin yung Holy Spirit sa ating mga buhay. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, palakpang po natin si Lord. And on that very same Saturday, we conducted an LSS seminar or Life in the Spirit seminar. At sa mga matatagal na pong Christians na nandito, sa mga workers and leaders po ng church, sa mga members po ng simbahan po na to, today we are being reminded. Today we are being refreshed by God. Kapag lumakad tayo ng next step sa ating buhay, kapag tayo po ay papasok na naman sa school or sa work, bukas, Monday na naman, we got to live life in the Spirit. We got to live life in the power of the Holy Spirit because we can be victorious not by might nor by power but only by the Spirit of God. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. Kaya sabi po sa book na binabasa ko, I'm on the last chapter, uh, 42 chapters, 42 weeks of reading this book. Sabi po dito, believe how intensely Christ longs to fill you with the Spirit. Gustong gusto ka punuin ng Panginoon. Gustong gusto niya ipa-experience yung pagmamahal niya para sa'yo. 
Gustong-gusto niya iparamdam sa iyo yung power ng ating Panginoon, the power of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because He wants you to be all He created you to be. Ang design ng Panginoon para sa buhay mo ay magtagumpay ka. Amen po ba Ang design ng Panginoon para sa iyo ay maging significant ka. Ang design ng Panginoon para sa iyo ay may gawin kang malaki para sa Panginoon. Yan po yung gusto ng Panginoon para sa iyong buhay. That's how He created you to be. For you to be victorious, to be fulfilled, to be significant. Kaya po dito po tayo nililid ng Panginoon. If we will just follow God's leading, it says in His Word, He leads me to the path of righteousness for His name's sake for His will to be done in your life. We gotta follow God's leading because this is the path to victory, righteousness. This is the path to significance. This is the path of your healing. This is the path for your revival. This is the path of our church for a breakthrough. God leads us to the path of righteousness. Kaya today, sige, pabalakpangan po natin si Lord. Kaya today, we gotta do our part. Because na pag-usapan natin last month, God will do His part. Amen po ba yun? God is a miracle-working God and He will surely do His part if we will just do our part. Ano po yung part po natin? We got to do our part to live life in purity and holiness. We got to live the next days of our life in purity and holiness. Kasi siguro yan po yung gera na hindi pa rin tayo makawala-wala hanggang sa ngayon. Siguro iba po na nandito po ngayon still living in sinfulness. Siguro yan po yung ating testing. Siguro hindi pa rin pa, po tayo makasay no sa temptation. Siguro tayo pa rin po ay talagang nahihirapan to get away from the shackles, from the chains of sin. At napakahirap po talaga niyan. Pero ngayon, kinakausap ka ng Panginoon ngayon. Wala ka mang kapangyarihan sa buhay mo, pero si Lord may kapangyarihan para sa buhay mo. And God is enough to give you the victory over sin today. God is enough to give you that victory over whatever you are going through today. And you may not know the next steps of your life. You, don't, you may not know if you will take the left, the right, the center, whatever that may be. Kasi sinasabi ng Panginoon para sa buhay mo ngayon, you don't need to know that. You don't need to bother knowing that. Because all you gotta do today is to say yes and follow my lead. Just follow the leading of God. Just follow whatever God is telling you today. At hindi ka magsisisi. Hindi ka mapapahamak. Kasi dito tayo dadalhin ng Panginoon in that pool of refreshment. In that pool of blessing in that pool of miracles, in that pool of revival, in that pool of breakthroughs, and whatever you may need, it is in the pool of refreshment and it awaits for you. If you will just follow the leading of God in your lives. Tano pong gusto gawin ng Panginoon for this very service. Gusto tayong samahan ng Panginoon. Gusto kang samahan ng Panginoon. And He wants you to be filled by the Holy Spirit today. He wants you to experience the power of the Holy Spirit. And today, church, gusto niyo ba ma-experience ang Holy Spirit sa buhay mo ngayon? Do you want to be refreshed today? Do you want your souls to be refreshed today? To be restored? And if that person is you, can you stand up from your seat today if that is you? Kung sinasabi mo, I want to be refreshed. Oh God, I want to be restored. Maybe sin had destroyed my soul. Maybe my iniquities, my pride had destroyed my soul. But today, I believe I can be restored. Today, I believe I can be refreshed. Lord God, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill us, Lord God, with your holy power. Let your holy presence fill this place, oh God. And oh God, we invite you to overwhelm us with your power. Today, O oh God, we invite you to overflow this place. Each heart, each soul, each life, overflow today. And today, church, come and lift up our hands to the Lord. And today, we're going to worship God through this new song. Hallelujah. Thirst for you, Lord, so come fill me with living water till I'm drowned by your prayer. 
Forming miracles right this very moment. You're calling somebody today, oh God. You are here. Your spirit is moving in this place. And here we are, oh God. As we lift up our hands to you, Jesus. Church, come, we lift up our hands to the Lord. And our God, as we lift up our hands, our God, we receive the Holy Spirit today. Lord God, we receive your empowerment. Lord God, we receive your infilling. Lord God, we receive you, Lord God, moving in our lives, moving in our hearts. Here we are, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we're going to step out the doors of this sanctuary with your spirit, with your power, Lord God. And church, join me in this prayer. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus here is my life. Here is my life. You are my shepherd. You are my shepherd. You are my guide. You are my guide. And today, oh God, and today, oh God, I commit, I commit, not to sin anymore, not to sin anymore, not to fall into temptation not anymore, to fall into temptation, anymore, not by might, not by might, nor by power, nor by power, but by your spirit, but by your spirit, I surrender, I surrender my life to you, my life to you. Have it your way, have it your way. Let your will, let your will be done, be done in my life, in my life, and with my hands raised, and with my hands. I receive, I receive your pouring. Your pouring. I receive, I receive your infilling. Your 
need fill. I receive, I receive the, power the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in my life. In my life. And my life, my life will never be the same again. Never be the same again. Can we just give God a very best clap offering? And today, oh God, before we leave this place, we lift up our tithes and offering to you. And Lord God, we are very much blessed and privileged, Lord God, na may nabibigay kami sa iyo every Sunday. At Lord God, may nabibigay kami para sa iyo, Lord God, kasi ikaw yung unang nagbigay para sa aming mga buhay. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your protection over our lives, Painan. And Lord God, we commit, Lord God, that hindi kami malalayo sa presensya mo, Painan. We will continuously dwell in your presence because the pool of blessing is here in your presence, Painan. Marami salamat, Lord God, sa araw po nito. Lord God, thank you for our church family. Thank you, Lord God, for the lives who are changed in this place, Painan. At Lord God, sa paglabas namin sa simbahan po nito, let your grace be seen in our lives. Let your spirit be seen in our lives. Let your love be seen, Lord God, in each one's life who are here today. And today, Lord God, I pronounce your blessing and protection to be upon their lives. Find favor in every work of their hands. Anoint them, O God. Give them wisdom. Let them just follow your lead all the days of their lives, man. And right this very moment, we already claim the victory. And we give you back all the glory and all the praise in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everybody shout. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. We hope that you've been refreshed by that word from the Lord. And sana nga po, uh, yung pool of refreshment, maranasan natin yun sa ating buhay. And that is by getting closer to God. So if you want to get closer to God, we believe that it's time for you to take your next step. Ano ba yung mga next step na pwede mong gawin? Well, first of all, you can connect with us. Pwede kang mag C2S or small group with us. And if you want that, you can type next step in the comments. And kami na po yung bahala na mag-chat sa inyo. We'll find you a group that you can have fellowship with. Pwede kayo mag-Bible study. But most importantly, you will be studying this C2S manual na bagong-bago siya ngayon. Uh, and dyan matututunan natin how to really live a Christian Life. Also, you can take your next step if you need a prayer right now or counseling, you can type prayer and we have this thing called COG Lifeline. We have pastors, leaders from our church who are doctors, attorneys, financial advisors, iba-iba. If you need advice, they are here not just to pray for you but to even guide you kung ano man po yung problem na inyong pinagdadaanan. And also, uh, another next step that you can take is to get involved in a ministry. If you feel that the Holy Spirit is prompting you to serve God now sa ministry, just send us a message and we will help you to find a ministry, whether in worship, outreach, relationship, discipleship, admin. Just send us a message and we'll take care of everything else. <laughs> and ito pa guys, if you want to make sure that you're giving your tithes and offering faithfully, Please visit cogdasma.com slash give to know the bank details and paano kayo makakapagbigay ng tithes and offering online. That is through Gcash, Paymaya, mobile and online banking. Again, visit cogdasma.com slash give if you want to give your tithes and offering online. So I guess that's it for this Sunday and ngayon pa lang excited na kami to see you again next week. But for now, we pray and pronounce blessings to you and your family. And we love you so much and we'll see you next week. Bye! To him, even a season of pause is a season of purpose. Even in solitude, we magnified his sovereignty. But this 2023, we will gather as one man. It's time to dream again, to dive into the unknown with faith, to explore the depths of His power, to cross the unbelief, swiftly move forward to reach the unseen 
and witness the fullness of His glory. We are going further. I believe.